Not every athlete is a saint, and plenty have wound up in the slammer, but some have proven to have such terrible behavior outside of their sport that they require harsher, longer punishment. Here are some jocks who found themselves jailed for a good long time. Art Schleister While Art Schleister loved football, he seemed to love gambling more, and is paying a mighty high price for it. His NFL career died by 1986, thanks in large part to his constant betting. According to CBS News, he's been sent to over 44 prisons since 1994, and his most recent prison tour will prove to be his longest yet. In 2011, Schleister was arrested on charges that he had cheated sports fans out of millions of dollars by promising them tickets to events like the Super Bowl, not delivering, then running off with the money. As federal prosecutors said in a statement, Schleister spent the money on personal expenses, gambled with it, or used it to repay older debts. The next year, he was found guilty and sentenced to just under 11 years in prison. Considering how he seems completely unable to learn his lesson, don't expect him to get out early. O.J. Simpson Once known for either football or the naked gun, depending on who you talk to, O.J. Simpson has spent almost as much time in prison as he did in the NFL, but he could have easily been in there for much longer. Simpson famously avoided prison time after being accused of taking the lives of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron Goldman. But he wasn't nearly as lucky in 2007 when he was arrested for robbing a sports memorabilia collector in a Las Vegas hotel room because Simpson believed some memorabilia was his. Yeah, we were just robbed at gunpoint by O.J. Simpson. Well, it was my stuff. I, I followed what I thought the law. I, and my lawyer told me, you can't break in a guy's room. I didn't break into anybody's room. He was convicted in 2008 of both robbery and kidnapping and sentenced to anywhere from 9 to 33 years. Ultimately, he served the minimum nine and was paroled in 2017 after a hearing that was broadcast all over the country because, well, he's still a celebrity. Tim Montgomery A champion sprinter for the USA, Tim Montgomery once held the world record for the 100-meter dash. But now, he's known primarily as a disgrace to his sport due to a series of bad decisions that led to extended incarceration. According to BBC, Montgomery was banned for life from athletics in 2005 after getting caught using steroids, which also cost him his world record. I really wanted to be this, this great sprinter, but I really didn't want to put in the work to be the great sprinter. Everything went downhill from there. In 2008, Montgomery was sentenced to five years in prison for attempted heroin dealing while serving an unrelated four-year sentence for writing bad checks to the tune of $1.7 million. The unsympathetic judge wasn't eager to combine the sentences, meaning once Montgomery finished one, he started another. It changed me forever. Reuben Carter Boxing fans and Bob Dylan fans alike were well aware of the story of Reuben Carter. Carter was on top of the boxing world in 1964, but in 1966, he was accused of taking three lives and sentenced to three life terms. Eventually, however, people began to suspect Carter didn't do it, a sentiment most famously shared by Bob Dylan in his 1976 song, Hurricane. I knew that I was innocent. I knew that I was not in prison for murder. In 1985, a federal judge ruled Carter never got a fair trial, and by 1988, he had all charges against him dismissed. From then until his passing in 2014, Carter worked tirelessly to advocate for the wrongly convicted. He never became a champion in boxing, but he definitely became a champion of life and freedom. Floyd Mayweather Sr. Along the road to building an incredible 50-0 record, Floyd Mayweather Jr. spent two months behind bars for domestic assault. That's nothing compared to his father, Floyd Sr., who may have beaten fewer opponents than his son, but has him beat on time spent in a cell. As The Guardian points out, Mayweather Sr. was a drug dealer, supplementing his income and providing for his kids by smuggling cocaine across state borders. The bottom fell out in 1994, when Sr. was caught and received a five-year sentence. Sr. was released after four years and then dedicated himself to being an on-again, off-again trainer for his son. Mike Danton Before serving five years of prison time, Mike Danton played three years in the NHL. In 2004, he was arrested on charges that he had attempted to hire someone to off his old coach, mentor, and agent, David Frost. Apparently, paranoia had overwhelmed Danton, and he started to believe Frost was going to hurt him. He was willing to pay $10,000 to have him bumped off. You know, my psyche at the time, uh, the way that I dealt with things was, uh, you know, try and get him before he gets me. 
Danton was sentenced to seven and a half years behind bars, but only served five before being granted parole. During the parole hearing, he told board members that he wasn't attempting to get rid of Frost, but rather his own father. Danton believed his paranoia came from sleeping pills he was taking. He has since been quietly playing minor league hockey around the world. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.